In this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up a microphone to your IP camera from a distant power source. Here I've got an IP camera. This is a PoE, so it's going to get power and data through a network jack. Just for display purposes, we're showing you a 12 volt DC connector that connects to the camera. You are not going to use this if you're powering it using either the camera using a PoE injector or a direct connection back to the NVR or a PoE switch. So this is not going to get used in most scenarios unless you're out on a pole with only local power available from the pole. In that case, you'll put a 12 volt DC. Then here's the pertinent part, the audio input. So for most installations, you're going to provide power and data through the RJ45 jack to this PoE IP camera. And here is the microphone jack. It says audio in and it has an RCA. And in this case, I'm using a adapter on top of my BNC cable to carry the audio signal from the mic. I'm going to trace backwards from the camera. I've got this BNC to BNC female to RCA male connector and I'm going to put it on top of my BNC connector here and I'm going to connect it into the audio input. This cable is only being used for its audio signal capabilities on the coax. So using it for the audio conductor and here it goes back over the BNC, the white cable is to show you the audio signal coming back and here another BNC connector I put an RCA adapter on it and it's plugging into my microphone microphone has an RCA input as well this is an outdoor mic it needs to be under an eaves you can't submerge in water if you put water directly in this hole it will go bad so don't use a pressure jet to put water on top of this then to power this microphone, I'm using another BNC cable. I've got a DC jack on the mic. This is 12 volts DC. This is the same kind of wire, but I'm using black in this case just to kind of have it stand apart. Use this is the male end of the power plug. Make sure you're using this end to connect into the camera, and the, sorry, the microphone. And the signal will go through for power over this into the other end where I've got my power supply, I would connect this into the 110 socket. Make sure you enclose this in a junction box or inside, um, inside the house or a building because these are not waterproof. And then here is the power connector on the power supply. It connects into the cable. So what I've done basically is use, in this case, the black wire to send power only into the mic and then the white cable to catch the audio signal from the mic and put it into the camera's audio input. All right, once you've gotten the microphone connected, connect your IP camera to the PoE ports on the back of the NVR and wait about a minute or two for the video to pull up. And in this case, it did automatically since this is a PoE plug and play IP camera being used with our plug and play PoE NVR. Once the video's up, go to main menu, backwards C and you can actually go into camera registration and confirm the camera has been added. It'll change it over to an IP address of 10.1.65. Now then go into encode and make sure these are all checked. This is to enable audio on the camera. So the camera actually senses audio input from an external microphone and hit apply and okay. If you have a monitor that has speakers on it and you're using the HDMI output from the NVR, you can actually hover your mouse all the way up and you would see a speaker button here. And that would allow you to enable audio. In this case, I'm using a VGA, that's why it's not showing me that. So once you have your NVR on your network, you can follow the directions we have on our guide on how to connect your system to the internet. Uh, once you have an IP address that you can access the NVR, you can type it in into Internet Explorer. My IP address happens to be 1.106 at the end. Put in the password and of course the username. It's usually admin and then 10i capital L T X Y H for the password. Press login. You have to use a Windows computer in order to be able to hear the audio through a web browser. The Chrome does not offer that. Um, now I'm going to click on this. It actually serves up the mainstream. If you click on the carrot pointing down, it can let you select a substream as well.
that's a lower end stream but I am going to view the main stream and the reason you see this kind of skewed is because I have my font scaling set to high if you had font scaling on your Windows operating system set to 100 percent or what they call small it would be a full grid of four fit into this space so once you can see the video from your camera all you do is just press this audio icon and you can start hearing the audio so I'm going to turn my mic off and so I am going to test the audio which you can hear through the system audio audio test one two three you see that room that's here in uh, the door that's open I'm actually in there making this video and you can pick up my audio from the microphone that I can I'm going to turn off the audio here by clicking on this and it's turned off. Now I'm going to close out of this browser and I'm going to show you how to use our Smart PSS program. We have instructions on how to install Smart PSS and you can install that on your computer. Once you have um, the NVR added as a device onto Smart PSS, you can actually expand the device and drag in the camera and view it. You can view it in a grid and or uh, a, a grid of different forms and when you're in a grid of four you are going to see the mainstream but when you go to a grid of nine you're going to see the substream which is a lower end stream to uh, view multiple cameras together on a PC or on the phone. So I have here um, this uh, camera pulled up in Smart PSS. I'm just going to show you an audio test. I'm going to turn off my mic. Audio test one, two, so here you can hear my audio. I'm going to turn this, turn this microphone uh, speaker off for a second. Let's say you for some reason can't hear audio. Try um, double clicking, changing to substream, and then reconnecting and then clicking on the speaker icon again. Or you can right click and log out of your NVR and then log back in and drag the camera back in and try it again. Audio test one. So in our case, it works fine. It's really easy to be able to uh, listen into audio and watch video from your system. Thank you for watching.